spoken word. At school, she was fondly called Queen, and it probably stemmed from her graceful and articulate nature. In 2005, she was crowned the most beautiful girl in Nigeria. Today, I'm here with Omoomi Akinefesi. We'll be talking about life experiences and what's in her bag. Omoomi, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. I want to ask you a question. Wait, and I'm, I'm not sure whether to call you Barbara or Okwe. <laughs> call, me, call me whichever one is comfortable for okay. you. Okay, okay. If you, if you're, because we went to school together, mm -hmm. and at school I was Okwe. Mm -hmm. But when I went into the university, I started going by the name Barbara because that's how my mom filled my forms. Barbara is actually my baptismal name. All right, and so okay. when people call me Okwe, I know that they've known me for a really long time mm. and I'm fine with both. Family still calls me Okwe, except, except when they're teasing me. Mm. So okay. either way, it's fine. Okay. So, Omomi, we went to school together. Mm -hmm. We were classmates at secondary school. Yeah. You haven't changed one bit. You haven't changed as well. I have. You haven't. <laughs> what is... Uh, I don't want to say what's the secret to your youthful looks, but what are you doing differently that we all aren't doing? <laughs> no, oh, please. You look exactly the same. All you, you need is your houseware. <laughs> is your red houseware, your damp house houseware. Um, to answer your question, what am I doing differently? To be honest, I don't think I'm doing anything differently. I just think it's the grace of God on my life. And um, I don't keep mm. malice with people. Mm. I don't um, fight with people. I hardly get angry. So I think that preserves my inner peace mm. and that kind of glows out mm. into my external. So, mm. you know, I'm not um, cringing on anything or holding mm. on to anything. I'm mm. just kind of like a peaceful person. So, mm. yeah, so I think that helps my sanity. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing that. That's very important. Mm -hmm. I really like how you put that together. You're mm -hmm. a happy person and that shines, that shines out. Mm -hmm. Okay, among me. I have another question for you. This is a question and answer show. Mm -hmm. um, you've shared a couple of times how you became most beautiful girl in Nigeria. And for the benefit of those who don't know, Omomi actually went into that competition with a friend. And then someone asked you to just try out, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And then you did, mm -hmm. and you won. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What did that teach you? Um, you know, I mean, when I went, mm -hmm. I went with my friend. She had come to my house in mm -hmm. the morning, and she just barged into my room. And she wanted me to escort her. So okay. I escorted her for the event. Mm. And, you know, friends and family have always been calling me Miss Nigeria. Mm. But it was just a passive thing. Mm. So when I got there and they asked everybody that was participating in the auditions to mm. move forward. Mm. And everyone that wasn't to go back. So I went back. Mm. But it took a little bit of time for them to start. Mm. So before they started, everybody just started mixing up and gisting. So I went forward. I went to, you know, meet, you know, everyone, the girls in front. Mm. And... We all started talking and gisting, and we were there for like two hours. And then they started announcing it's time for the auditions. So everyone that does not belong to the to hear, mm. you know, the audition part, she moved to the back. Mm. And I got up in between all the girls, and then I was going to the back. And everyone was like, "Ah, where are you going to?" I said, "No, I'm not. I'm not part of you guys." And they were like, "Oh, we thought you were here." Ah, thank God. And all of them say, thank God, I'll be thank God, I'll be thank God. So thank God you're not thank competing. Thank God you're not competing. I was like, oh, maybe there's something I have that I don't know. You know, so I went to the back and I was thinking about it. And then somebody came to meet me. Um, I think it was one of the organizers of the auditions. And he said, ah, why are you here? I said, no, no, I'm not taking part, I'm not taking part. And he said, oh, you should. I said, no, 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 I'm not. And then that's how people started coming to meet me. And I said, why are you not there? Why are you not there? I said, no. Finally, I decided to do it. I was... Um, Holding 6,000 naira. <laughs> you know, my friends and I were going to go out for a dinner. Okay. Um, we're just going to take ourselves out. out. And that time, 6,000 naira was a lot, a lot of, of money. money. You know, so I was just holding that money that I'd saved. And they were now like, I should use 6,000 naira to buy the form. Mm. So I was like, how am I going to use this, my precious you money? That exact, exact amount. amount to buy the form. So I bought the form. Mm. And Making I bought the form and they gave me paper. I was like, I used six thousand dollars to buy this. Please, I just went back to the to the um, um, ladies room. I started crying. You know, I was like, Oh no! Please gone. give me back my money. <laughs> you know, I don't want the form anyway. You know, I I filled it and then I auditioned and I was one of the first people they called out that I had succeeded okay. the first version of the the mm. auditions and you know the rest Did is. Did your friend history. make it? 
She did. She did. Okay. She did. And we were at the camp together and we cried together. We laughed together because on camp, there are a lot of experienced people. Mm. There are people that don't billboards, they're doing oh, yeah. different things. And this was all new to And you. we, we had not done anything. So mm. we just looked like chickens. We looked yeah. like babies yeah. there. Yeah. And they even used to make fun of us because, you know, we didn't know mm. anything. Mm. Um, so we thought that that was, we was going to disqualify mm. us and all of that. But that was really what they wanted, yeah. you know. Um, I remember one, they, they were calling different people to ask them about themselves, you know, mm. so they'll call you and ask you about yourself. Mm. And they said, so have you ever done anything like this before? And I said, no. And he looked at me like disappointed, like he was disappointed. And I just went back crying. I packed my things and said, I'm leaving camp today because I don't belong here and all of that. And all the shop ones were like, no, you never know. You never know. Just go back. You never know. And after that, you know, the rest is history. On that day, they called. They called top 10 and they called me and I thought maybe they just put me there to fill up the space mm. <laughs> for top 10. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, you just think yeah. ridiculous All things. Sorts, yeah. And at the end of the day, I won. And I didn't have family in the crowd because I didn't want to tell anybody yeah. I was doing it just yeah. in case I didn't win. Yeah. So nobody makes fun of me. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have yeah. family there, but girls had family there. So when, when they called their names, if their families are clapping for mm. them. But me, strangers were just clapping for me. Like people were... Like, if that girl doesn't win, mm. this place will turn this place upside down. There are actually people like that. Mm. So, so, yeah, I thank God. When you were sharing this story with me, you know, I, I was thinking a lot about some of the things you said. You said that, you know, there are some people that would, tr would try to intimidate you guys, you oh, and yeah. your friend. Oh, yes, And definitely. that still happens today. Mm -hmm. People use a lot of bullying tactics to bring people down. Oh, yeah. And I just feel like we should talk a little bit about that. Mm -hmm. Now... After that, you became really famous. Were there people around you or people that you eventually got to know who tried that same tactic with you? Bullying tactic, trying to bring you down. Oh, Even absolutely. after you become famous. Oh, absolutely. You know, I had friends that would come to my house every day. Mm. We were very close, you mm. know. I mean, we, you would see me in my worst form and it wouldn't even be an issue. Mm. The minute I won, it was like, why are you dressed like this? Why are you looking like this? I'm in bed. I'm just waking up. You usually come to my room. You see me without makeup. Like, I'm not even, you know, I'm, I'm raw. Mm. And then because I want a pageant, mm. what, I should, am I supposed to sleep with makeup on and sleep with heels mm. and sleep with everything? Mm. People wanted to see me perfect. All the time. Perfect. So along the way, I developed a shield, mm. you know, and then people would think, or you're being stuck up, or you're being... Mm. But it was just me protecting myself because mm. I can't mm. come and die, you know? Yeah. So I needed to protect my own space because yeah. expectations were too high. Yeah. And it was unnecessary yeah. expectations. Yeah. You know, um, I remember a friend of mine came to see me and she would see me in my worst normally and then she just came to see me. I was in my house. And I just got up from my bed. I walked to my front door and I opened the door for her. And she said, why are you looking like this? If it was me mm. that I want MBG and I won't look like this. Mm. And I was looking at her. I mean, the house. Oh, oh I stopped being friends with her since that day. Mm. <laughs> she never yes. saw me again since after that day. And this is, you know, so, you know, that still happens. Yes. And people just try to, um, um, they, they, see, they see your glory and they see your grace. Okay. And the only way they can express their insecurities is to try to pull, to you, try down. To pull you down. Yeah. So sometimes you see it and you just smile to yourself. Yeah. Oh, you're still doing that, <laughs> you know? You, yeah. You've grown up from that. And yeah. thank God we've matured yes. to know when that is happening. Exactly. But sometimes your mind is weak, mm. you know? And, and if you're not careful, you, you believe. Bond, sometimes. Yes. You know, sh you've shared experiences. You've shared exactly. life together. Yes. You now hear yeah. negativity from mm. that person yes. and you're like, ah, but yes. that's not where we are yes. supposed to be, yes. you know, so it's I mean, when, when do you know that you've outgrown a friendship? Hmm. When is it time to let go? When you are being very good to the person mm. and um, the person knows you in and out, mm. but they still say things like, they still come up with different things and mm. you wonder, ah, mm. You know, a, a friend of mine um, once told me, oh, you know, haven't you, but you've done your bum or something. And I looked at her, you that you know me, like you know me very well. Mm. You know, 
if you you've can always say, been like that. if you can say that, yes. and then everybody, you know, people that know me very yeah, well, always looked, they know that oh, I've yes. always been curvy, yes, and then yes. I now added weight. So the weight and everything, just I'm not gonna add weight only in my neck or my cheeks. Mm -hmm. I will add weight everywhere, so yes. my bum will get bit, yes. bigger, even yes. if when I was smaller, my yeah, bum was that there. Figure, yeah. So imagine getting bigger, yeah. you would, everything would multiply. Just, yeah. So and then, so that's how you know that this friendship is a little because yeah. once someone is close to you they can repeat that somewhere else and yeah. because it's them saying it people will believe it because she, she's friends with her she, she runs, knows her you know, in and out exactly so yeah. you know with yeah. that friendship yeah. not, that particular friendship not like you've grown yeah. it but you just you're just yeah. careful with it because yeah. you're just like okay yeah. you know this person knows you but maybe mm. doesn't know you well mm. enough mm. so hey Time you know but when you want, you never really know when, once you've outgrown a friendship. You, it's hard to know because um, some people, everyone is not on the same level. You know, some people yeah. don't get successful at the same time you became yeah. successful. Some people are more successful than you. So I think friendship is more than success. It's more yes. than money. That's because I connect yeah. with the soul. I connect yeah. with the people's spirit. Yeah. And that's the purest thing yeah. that can happen. Yeah. You know, so I don't talk about, you know, all the, uh, mm. you know, I can see my friends with, that are still entering boss. Mm. I don't look down on them. Yeah. And I see friends that have houses in the Banana Island. Mm. I don't look like, oh, you mm. know, I connect with the spirit mm. because that's who the person really mm. is. Mm. Um, and that's the true essence of the person. Mm. Um, and that just helps me connect. Mm. But it depends on the person. Right. If the person is all about the material things, mm. all about the money, all about then, that's, there's a disconnect and the friendship is not outgrown or anything, yes. but you guys are just not on the same page yeah. and you just leave yeah. it that way. We made you sometimes compartmentalize friendships because I found that I have certain friends who are in my life and will always be in my life, but I'll go to them for, for specific things like when I need prayers, these mm -hmm. are the friends that I'll, I'll reach out to. When it's time to go to the, to the movies, mm -hmm. these are the friends I'm going to the mm -hmm. movies. Mm -hmm. When it's time for us to talk about our children, mm -hmm. these are the friends that I can relate with. Mm -hmm. you, do you, do you have oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, and I think everyone does that. Okay. Or doesn't everyone do that? I think so. I do. I, I, I do, but I find it sometimes I worry about it because mm. if you have a friend that you always go to talk about finance, you talk mm. about finance, mm. and you have another friend that you just only watch movies with, you know, that's the, 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 le the value added mm. from mm. those friendships. Mm. It's kind of like this. Mm. One person you feel easy going to watch movies mm. with them, but when, pardon me, she gets real, yes. you go to somebody else. Yes, absolutely. So do, are we saying that the other person is not as mm. important? Mm. But I think it's because we go deep into friendships with mm. different people at different levels. Yes. And some friends are just not open enough to discuss some things because yes. if i come to you and mm. something happens to me and i'm like oh Akbar, can you imagine and you're like mm, okay okay and you have no opinion about yeah. it i'll never repeat it to you again Definitely. or you might be a good movie friend if yeah. i discuss movies with you yeah on yeah. and on yeah so i think that's what makes us yeah compartmentalize yeah. be compartmentalize right. yeah. um relationships and i do that um, but a friend yeah. of mine recently got upset about that because um i always go to watch movies with her, you even know the person. <laughs> and she was like, why don't you, why don't you come to talk to me about finance? Why don't you talk about this? Why don't you talk about that? And I'm like, okay, I do. You know, I talk to you about it, but... It's just different. It's just different. Like, so I think it's okay to, I to, to, really to do I really enjoy that watching movies yeah. with you. Like, yeah. I really do. And I like being around you, mm. you know? But that's okay now. Mm. And she, you know, she's still upset today. I don't I know what's... It's okay. I think it's okay. <laughs> Wumi, well, you became famous really young. Mm -hmm. What has fame done to you and what has it done for you? So what are the good sides and the not so good sides? Um, I think um, fame has, it has um, made me guarded. Mm. Because in QC, everybody was my, my friend. Like yeah. I had close friends at different points. Yeah. Like from Even different seniors classes. were your friends. I'm yeah. telling you, seniors, yeah. juniors, the juniors that still walk up to me today, I'm like, oh, it's your queen. You mm. remember me, QC? Mm. And I just remember the person, but, mm. you know, it wasn't like we were close, mm. but mm. in QC, I was just close we to people. Friendly, yeah. So, you know, the person still feels like we're close, mm. but in my head, I'm like, ah, I can't really remember. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, but then it made me guarded, and 
Um, my sister was exactly like me, and she's still the same, so she has a lot of friends. And I was that person before. I had a lot of friends, but becoming famous, like you just can't have a lot Too of many friends. friends. Yeah. You know, because it's yeah. friends and you have a lot of acquaintances. Yes. Oh, you don't get me yes. wrong. You have acquaintances. The friends yes. become acquaintances. Yeah. But then friends, friends, you can yeah. only count a few because you have you to protect yourself. Know. You just yeah. never know. You just have to protect yourself. Yeah. You have to protect your sanity, like I said yeah. earlier. Expectations are high. Mm. People are just looking for something to come up yes. with. And it's really, it's, it's, it's really yeah. deep. It's yeah. really, you know, so, so yeah. yeah, I think that's why it's, you know, a little, that's one of yeah. the things that fame yeah. did to me. You yeah. just have to protect yourself and you're a little mm. bit guarded. And mm. some people take it as you're being proud or you're being cool. Arrogant or cocky. It's, yeah. it's not like that, you know, you just, I don't really like it, but mm. it's, it's, it has helped me. Mm. And some people see me and feel they don't know me. You know, they, they don't they don't feel they can't know me. Like, ah. I'm like, okay, you know, but because I'm very simple. Mm. So once you get close to me, you just know everything. You mm. just, I'm just simple. So I have to be careful and mm. guard myself. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Got you. You know, when the Bible says there's a time and season for everything, mm -hmm. and um, people tend to think that this is my time, this is my season. But for you, you've been able to stay relevant, you know, I mean, most beautiful girl in Nigeria when you won was over 14 years ago. Damn. Yes, it was over 14 <laughs> Is it that years long? ago. It's, it's that long. No, really? Yes, yes. 2015 yes. to now. Yes. 20, yes. 2005, sorry. Yes. To 14 years. Yes. Hey. It's been 14 years. Wow. Yeah. That's a long time. Yeah. That's a long time. I'm not, and I'm not old, though. <laughs> 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 what has been your staying power? Hey, that's a good question. Mm. Um, I don't know. I can't say. I don't know. So it hasn't think, really been intentional then? No. no. Oh, no, it has. If it was intentional, girl, mm. <laughs> it's not even intentional at all. In fact, yeah. um, to, when I turned 26 or 25, I started keeping away and people started looking mm. for me, you know, because at a point, um, when, you're too, when you're in line like for so long, um, you become, it's like being under the sun for a long time. It gets hot. hot. And you start to burn. You need to decompress at some point. So right? you need to like go yeah. under the shade yeah. and rest. Yeah. Unless you will just burn, burn out. out. And Jinx. that's how it is. You know, I always describe it like this. When you're traveling mm. a long distance and you don't stop and buy fuel. You mm. run out of fuel right. eventually. Right. And you just be wondering who right. you are. Mm. You just be lost. So, mm. uh, you know, mm. every, even, you know, fine, I've stayed relevant, but mm. I know how I'm pacing myself because mm. you just burn out and you just run out of fuel for nothing. Mm. So sometimes you have to pack, mm. you know, do more executive courses. Yes. I wanted to get to that. Business courses. Yes. Oh, mommy, I wanted to get to that because beyond. Or more me that everybody sees mm -hmm. you know you're very what's the word you're very intellectual you know i want Thank you to talk you. about some of the courses that you've attended ha. some of the degrees <laughs> that you've you've had because <laughs> i remember a while ago i was reading about you and i i i read that you've gone on to king's college mm -hmm. you know and i was like yeah that's my girl you know she's doing it for all of us you know she's going to school she's oh, yeah. running her businesses and i want to oh, talk yeah. about your business mm. the, the biz, your, some of your businesses but mm -hmm. let's talk about that why is education so important to you oh man it's so important my dad went to yale mm. you know i'm from undo so we're mm. very mm. book book people mm. you know so me when it comes to book i'm mm. very i at my mind i need a desk mm. in my room there's a desk in my the sitting room, there's a desk. In my office, there's a desk. I need a desk to work. And I'm not a desk person. Mm. So I'm not there. I can't be, I can't do a nine to five like that. Mm. I can, yes. but I'm not, I'm, I'm an active person. Yeah, right. But still, I need to turn it down and mm. then work. Mm. Um, I went to Kingston in London. I studied in environmental modeling, monitoring and management, environmental technology. Say that again. <laughs> environmental modeling monitoring and management so modeling building building climate models being building runoff models actually building them with excel building them with formulas monitoring using using all the different machines to monitor runoff or There's monitor air pollution 
<laughs> I'm telling you. And then management, GIS, geographic information system, using it to do mapping and spatial analysis. You know, they use it I'm just, in... I'm just shaking my head. <laughs> but I, mm, mm. No, you use it, you use it in mm. communication, you know, MTN, they want to build their masts. You have yeah. to build a map for them so they know yeah. where, you know, where the population is, vegetation is, so they mm. know the right locations mm. to put them. Mm. Things like that. Mm. And I did, I had an environmental consultancy for a very mm. long time and I worked with different projects mm. and different governments and it was really, really I know nice. at the time you, you worked for Lagos State as yes, well. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. yes. I was an environmental ambassador. ambassador yeah. So, I, you know, I did a lot of work with that. Then I went to Laundry College of Fashion as well. I studied fashion, buying and merchandising, fashion business, fashion and e-commerce, fashion designing. I studied mm. all of that, fashion business. Wow. Um, and then I did project management, Prince too. Yeah. I did practitioner foundation. Yeah. And by the way, she's not telling you a lot because before we started the interview, she was telling me a bit more about the courses that she's doing. And I was just like, girl, you need to go back to school. Uh, so I did project management, I did business analysis. Mm. Um, I've done entrepreneurship school. I've done so many courses, I can't even remember. It's when I see my CV, I'm like, oh, okay. Um, so yeah, now I'm doing um, an executive course um, Steve Strenner, European International Business School. Um, we're doing strategy and innovation. We're doing yeah. um, financial accounting. Because we're telling you just now, Barbara, I need to go get my homework done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, it opens your mind yeah. again, all over yeah. again. I was thinking of, mommy, are we going to dinner after this? And you were like, I need to go get my homework <laughs> done. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know, yeah. So, so yeah, um, and it's amazing. We were, do, we're, seeing, we're visiting Jack Ma in China. We're going to the Alibaba. Um, um, uh, what's it called? Their office. We're going to their office, and we're meeting with Jack Ma. And in July, we're going to Harvard. We're going to study at Harvard. So I think it's yeah. it's really you know. And I want to do an MBA in Harvard as well. <laughs> so okay. because you have to educate your yes, mind. You, the I older do. you get, it's not like you're looking for a job or anything. Yes, but it's yes. about you never stop learning. You never stop learning. There's always something to learn about. I agree yeah, with you. Correct, correct. Let's talk a little bit about your your business, right? I know this gorgeous dress you're yes. wearing is from a mommy because mommy. I yes. have something similar as yes. well. Yes, yes, yes. Um, but beyond the, the, the clothing line, I know you do a couple of other things. Can you tell me a little bit more about oh. yeah, what you do? <laughs> um, so I have an environmental consultancy. Yeah. And the other we, day I was with you and you were designing a space, space for a client. Fine. Yes, yes. So I have an interior decorating business yes. as well. And, you know, a lot of people don't know about that. Yeah. But, you mm. know, you just, there are a few mm. people, you have mm. your clients yeah. and you, you know, um, mm. because, you know, I, I'm very business savvy. So mm. I, I get bored easily. Mm. So I have to keep my hands uh, on um, quite mm. a few things. So I have the interior business. I have an environmental consultancy. I have a branding and PR agency. Um, that's El Poise. I have an NGO called Global Women Africa. Tell me about Global Women Africa. Yes. So Global Women Africa, what we do is we go to different secondary schools and we train their SSD students yeah. on international image and etiquette, hygiene, mm. and entrepreneurship. Mm. So what we're trying to do is that we're trying to prepare an SS3 student for mm. the world because mm. that's the time when they're most yes. delicate. Yes. They're just going into university. Some of them yes. don't even make it to university. Mm. Um, so we're trying to give them a global mindset. Yeah. Yeah entrepreneurship skills, image, etiquette, mm, mm, you know, how mm. you position them to be leaders for yes, tomorrow. Yes, and we, we focus on women because mm. we're trying to build the global yes, woman, yes. you know, out of Africa. Yes. So that's what Global Woman Africa is about. How do you get funding to... to ah, now, to you know, um, there's so many companies that support women. Mm. And we're working on a grant right now. Um, okay. But there, there are a lot of companies that are very passionate about Mm. women and mm. we, we work with them and they're individuals as well so yeah. we speak to individuals yeah. and we speak to different companies yes. um, that support us mm. even sometimes not in cash but mm. it's in kind so mm. you know yeah. students get to you know yeah. use their products and mm. get food get different mm. things from them mm. so we learn how to eat you know dining and etiquette mm. and all mm. of that and you know about yes, stuff like I that mm -hmm. um, and their image you know yeah and how to talk, how to walk, mm. how to compose themselves. And mm. then entrepreneurship, really big. They learn mm. different skills from different people that are um, leaders in their industry. Mm. So, mm. Oh, Mommy, I've been here for a couple of weeks now. One of the things I've realized about Nigeria, and I love Nigeria a lot, is it will always be home for me, is one of the business here is very challenging. How do you survive? I don't know how I survive. 
That's an understatement. Um, you know, it's, it, it's almost like the, the, the environment is against mm. you. Um, you know, the government is against mm. you. They bring mm. different, um, mm. different things to you. Mm. You, have, you haven't paid your taxes. You haven't mm. um, put your signage up. You haven't, this, you, have, mm. this, 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 you know, but then you just survive because, you know, mm. as Nigerians, that's who we are. Mm. We cannot just survive. Mm. It's when you get out of the country that you realize, oh, my goodness, oh, yeah. I've been so tensed. But while you're in, you're still grinding. Grinding. Yes. You don't even realize yes. that you're walking through fire yes. and the fire is burning you. Mm. But then, you know, you just survive. And, of course, mm. you have God on your side. Yes. I mean, very oh, prayerful. Yeah. Mm. And um, you keep your spiritual being in being sane yeah. and that helps you unless yeah. you just go crazy yeah <laughs> so one of the things that i've learned about you over the years is you're very god-centered you're very god-centered and every time you put up a post on instagram there's always the god factor in it who is god to you hmm. he's my <laughs> he's my everything mm. <laughs> he's my everything um mm. he Without him, I'll be nothing. Mm. You know, I know everybody says that, but... But it's true. He gr keeps me grounded. Mm. You know, he, he speaks to me. He's my friend. Mm. You know, he's my father. Mm. Um, and I know he loves me. Yes. Um, he, he sees me. Yes. You know, he knows I'm not perfect, yes. but he still loves you. Loves me. So, you know, when, when you have someone like that, so yeah. I speak to him and he speaks to me. Mm. And you know, because... Mm. God can tell you, don't do this. And you, because you're feeling, is that really God telling me? You mm. go and do it. And then mm. you realize that, oh, it was wrong for you to have done that. Because yeah. you now get yeah. harmed or something. Yeah. And you now, that just centers your mind on, mm. oh, God really mm. does speak to me. Mm. And I need to listen. And once you start listening, you start going on the right path. Mm. And everybody around you is wondering, how come you always get it right? Mm. You know, and that's because it's God. Yeah. I know you don't see him, but... Yeah. Why don't you try to follow him as well? Yeah. And it will be all good with you, yeah. you know? So that's, that's who he is to me, and I, I enjoy it. It's, it's, yeah. it's what keeps me going. Okay. So, Mom, you have a lot of celebrity friends, mm -hmm. right? And one of the, the things we've noticed a lot of our celebrities, and we love them, is there's a lot of unrealness mm -hmm. on social media. How have you been able to not join that bandwagon? I mean, um, it's, it's difficult because you see, you see people um, showing off yes. and you see people um, being someone else. It's okay because you're put, putting up a performance. Mm. But then what I'm not happy about is the younger people who are watching, yes. believing that yeah. this is the way to live. Yes. You know, back then when you're watching Whitney Houston or you're watching Michael Jackson and they're being all this mm. full of life mm. people, mm. It's on TV, so you yeah. kind of pretend to be Whitney Houston today and mm. all of that, mm. but because your immediate surroundings mm. is not like that, mm. so you kind of come back into reality, mm. but when you go to school, you're still wearing what MJ mm. is wearing, everything. Mm. now it's on social media, yeah. right and when you face. stop looking at social media, it's still there, yes. so it's, it's, it's eating up our system, it's mm. eating up who we really are, uh. and people are becoming fake. Yes. In reality. Yes. So it's, 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 it's a hard one. It's a tough mm. one. But um, what I want to say is that um, you, you just, you, you need to walk away from it sometimes, mm. you know, and just stay away from the mm. social media and know who you are as an individual mm. because you will just die. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Your inner self because will just die. Because for how long can you keep faking it? How long can you keep faking it? And even now with celebrities, you know, I mean, like, I mean, I've been, I've been in the industry over yes. 14, 14 yes. years now. Mm. And back then, when you're popular, you're popular, and then maybe next three years, you're not popular anymore. You just happen to a lot of people. That's why mm. you, there's some celebrities that you don't even see them anymore. Mm. But now, you become popular, you're in limelight, and then you get one million followers. Mm. And in the next two years, even if you're not, po not as popular, you because happen. you have those yeah. one million followers, you're still there. You're yes. still in the light somehow. Yeah. And you that are there, you, you, you're, you're still in that two years ago person. Yes. And you're still running and you feel you're popular because your following is increasing. Yes. But in your real life, yeah, you're on one level. Mm. And then you start wanting to go into things that will keep your followers exactly. occupied. So, so you there's start a doing, pressure. There's a pressure. You start doing some things. Yeah. Meanwhile, there's real life happening. Yes. 
people that are getting jobs now everybody yes. wants to be an entrepreneur yeah. people are getting jobs people are moving this yes. people are moving in their real lives mm. but you are moving in your fake life mm. so your success is in your mind in your mind and one day you just wake up and realize oh you've been deceiving yourself you've been deceiving yourself <laughs> and the joke is on you and the joke is on you <laughs> <laughs> Well, your followers are there and you're feeling big and yes. then you know people are even paying you to post yes you know yeah, things are happening you're making money yes. but your life your real life is not growing you're still artificial you're faking it because you're permanently faking it now yes. so i mean people have to separate that's why i just i just go back like ah, what am i thinking this way there's some things i want to do at the time this this new year there are some goals i had and I just looked at the goals. How oh, these are not goals, you know? Mm. This one, oh, I need to do this on Instagram. I need to do that. I'm like, what the hell? I just changed everything. I was like, hey, I wrote, wrote everything. These are real. These are sustainable goals. Yes. These are real life goals. Yes. By the end of 2019, I would look at myself differently. Yes. Not trying to yes. do these or build my Instagram followers. No. Fine, do that. But it should be a goal under a goal under a goal. Mm. But oh, is a main goal. Yes. You just you're just wasting. It's a good thing, don't get me wrong. I understand. But it has to be done strategically. Yes. You know, you have and for to... for the right purpose. For the right purpose. You have to think deeper. Yes. You just have... You know, you just yeah. have to think deeper. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Um, you've been able to keep your life very private. Mm -hmm. Extremely mm -hmm. private. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows things they really want to know about you. Why did you feel that was very important? Because you're in the limelight and you have fans. You know? <laughs> so, yeah. Why does everybody ask that? Um, I've never heard a scandal. Mm -hmm. You know? I've never heard um, anything that's not pleasing. Everything that I've heard about you has been very dignifying. Mm -hmm. How have you been able to... I mean, I'm not saying you're bad and you've hidden everything, <laughs> you know. But yeah. um, you, you, you've shielded yourself. Mm -hmm. Because I don't seek for attention. Mm. I don't. Attention comes to me by mm. the grace of God. If I don't seek for attention, you say when you're seeking for attention, mm. you start doing things that you're not even supposed to do, mm. you know, and mm. you start making up stuff. So mm. now what people, what they do is make up stuff for me, <laughs> you know, <laughs> because they don't know, you know, they're oh like, oh, but you dated this person, you dated this person. I'm like, I don't even know the person. You know, there's one somebody that I heard I dated that it was when he died. <laughs> that you know, that, that, that I saw his him. obituary, that I knew what he looked like. I've been hearing his name, that I was dating him, and then I just saw his obituary on a celebrity's BB status. That was when BB was mm. WhatsApp, you know. Mm. And I was like, oh, this is this guy that I'm supposed to be, you know. So people form stuff for mm. you when mm. there's really mm. no gist, which mm. is the negative side mm. of having no gist. Because mm. at least if you have gist, it's real. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm, you know, mm, so mm. it has its own up and mm. ups and downs, mm. but at least you know, mm. as a human being, that mm. is a lie and it's mm. not true. Mm. And you know, yeah, you're just happy. Mm. You're just happy with that. So, yeah. yeah. So I can see the producer giving me cues for us to run, but I want us to talk more about your clothing line. Okay. Because yeah. I really like your clothes. Thank Let's talk you. a little bit more about the inspiration behind it mm -hmm. and um, how it started. Um, I, uh, I've done so many things in consultancy, in an environmental, um, you know, environmental business, environmental mm. industry, and I've done project management, I've done a few things, you know, mm. um, coupled up with the celebrity life that just mm. keeps you, like, going, mm. and you're becoming more popular, and mm. people are paying you to attend events, mm. but then your real core, your life isn't happening, mm. you know, so... I was just happy. I was lucky that I had my environmental work, my mm. environmental consultant. So that kept me grounded and mm. I was making money there. Mm. Um, but then, you know, I looked at it and I was like, okay, I need to make use of this entertainment side mm. because I have my techie side mm. and I have all of that side. But I haven't really, because people used to give me, I won fashion icon of the year. Mm. Um, this day, um, Vanguard, CC people, I was winning awards. Yeah. So but you know, mom, you, I mean, even at school, you were like, I mean, we didn't have fancy clothes. Yeah, but yeah. your uniform was always well. Yeah. And I remember you used to have these two gators. Oh, my God. <laughs> you so know, embarrassing. You, always, you always looked very yeah. well put together. Yeah. I've, I've just always yeah. been like that. Yeah, yeah, I don't know yeah. why. But, yeah. so, yeah. Even so. beyond you being very uh, academic and being very studious at school, yes, you still had the, the, yeah, the look. The look. Yeah. yeah. 
I don't I don't know why mm. it was just like that um, and then um, I I decided to do, go into fashion I said to, but I thought okay I don't want to just be creative in fashion mm. let me know about this fashion business the Itself. business of fashion mm. so that's why I went to London College of Fashion I studied fashion business fashion mm. buying and merchandising fashion mm. and e-commerce fashion designing like mm. okay I don't want to just be like Oh, avant-garde. Mm. So, and then I started my own fashion business. And mm. a lot of designers that I modeled for mm. and I, I, um, I modeled for, you know, you wear, you wear them on the red carpets so that people will know them. Mm. Mm. You know, I, a lot of them are like, why don't you start your own? And they're all very big now. Mm. They're back then, they were like, why don't you start your own? But I was like, eh, I'll start, I'll start. But when you're younger, you don't really, mm. you don't really catch on to things. Mm. So later on, I'm like, okay, let me just start it. And I started it. And... It's going well. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah, I, I love it. Um, yeah. and, but I'm doing the business side of it. Mm. You know, I'm doing the retail side of it. Amomi brand is um, for women with a social lifestyle. Mm. So clothing that you can mostly wear from day to night, night. Um, because she's a busy woman. Yes. So she leaves her house, she's going for a business meeting mm. or breakfast meeting, lunch mm. meeting, evening dinner, and she mm. can even end up in a party, mm. you know, with that outfit because, you know, mm. the city mm. life is mm. a busy life. I really so. like the, the one I bought the other day, the red yeah, one. The red the one, rose, yeah. The rose, the rose top. I'm it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's our best seller. Uh, yeah. yeah, thank you. It's one of our best sellers. Thank yeah. you for patronizing us. Yeah, I was us. going to wear it today, but then I didn't want it to be too cliche. <laughs> you know, yeah. yeah, so, so yeah, we like some pieces that are elaborate. We like bows, we like yes. bows, And bows. I like that it's very versatile because I can wear that with a skirt and go into a meeting and I can wear it with jeans. Yeah. I can wear it with pants. Pants, yeah. yeah. You can wear it to church, you can yes. wear it to a party. You, yes. can wear, yes. you know, it just yeah. falls in everywhere. You have a new collection coming out? Yes, soon? yes. We have one coming out in April and we have a new brand. You have a new brand. I wanted to talk about that's May. Wumi. So that's Wumi. Yes. Oh, God, this is the first time I'm saying Wumi. Yeah. So we're coming out with Wumi. Wumi is a much younger, cooler yeah. vibe. So what are we going to see from that? Uh, more chilled, more, more relaxed, chilled. but cool. Oh, cool. Okay. You know, cool. Kind of like a DKNY yeah. cool. Yeah. You know, okay. Gucci cool, but yeah. very affordable. So very prices affordable. are just going to be between 5000 to at most 15000 but cool things. Okay. You know, so yeah. Okay. When will that be out? That's out in May. So that's summer. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, perfect, summer. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. And we're gonna we're we're selling it internationally as well because yes. we're registered in America as well. Yes. Oh, so lovely. we're doing business, you know, in the states, yeah. and we're using different concessionaires in yes. the states, and yeah. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching and sharing this precious time with 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 my beautiful friend Omomi Akinefesi. My name is Barbara David, and you've been watching Wimp Wednesdays. If this video has blessed you, or if you've enjoyed it, don't forget to comment, like. Subscribe. Thank you so much. God bless you.